At the beginning of the Li Ming era, time flies like a shuttle. In this endless dark world, people will choose to go towards chaos, slaughter, greed, or pursue their original dreams and protect those who should not exist. Chapter 1 Martial Arts School Storm You are listening at NovelFull.audio Within the base city, this is a relatively safe place. The sturdy city walls and tall barriers effectively isolate the dangers outside the city. The order and laws here strictly constrain people's behavior. A stable food supply system ensures that citizens have access to sufficient food every day, with all necessary daily necessities available, enabling them to live a stable life. However, the situation outside the base city is vastly different. There are various deformed plants growing there, and many terrifying alien creatures hovering around. The civilians living there must fight for food and clothing every day, resisting attacks from alien creatures and being wary of their fellow countrymen. Because in situations of extreme hunger, people often hunt each other for opportunities to survive. Changfeng Martial Arts School is located in a street in Nanqing District, mainly relying on escorting supplies to maintain daily profits. This is an asset that Xiao Yifun's father, Xiao Changfeng, has worked hard to manage for many years. Due to the emergence of exotic organisms, Xiao Changfeng went to the border to serve the country. Feng An Kong was a commoner that Xiao Changfeng encountered while escorting goods outside the city when he was young. Due to the hardships of life, Xiao Changfeng hired him as the master of the martial arts school, responsible for daily material transportation. Feng An Kong fulfilled his duties and bravely faced every danger, winning the trust of Xiao Changfeng. The two have known each other for decades, from their initial employment relationship to now being close as brothers. Xiao Changfeng went to the border to fight against exotic creatures and entrusted his child Xiao Yifun to Feng An Kong. However, Feng An Kong did not fulfill his responsibilities and took up the idea of Xiao Changfeng's family property. He conspired to plan and signed a contract with the boss who escorted the goods for a sky-high penalty for breach of contract, and sold all the assets of the Changfeng Martial Arts School, dividing it 50 to 50 with the boss. From then on, Xiao Yifun went from being a citizen to a homeless civilian. Due to losing his citizenship, Xiao Yifun officially bid farewell to the Nanqing Military Academy today. As soon as I walked out of the school gate, a strong aroma rushed in. A figure suddenly appeared in front of Xiao Yifun, a young girl wearing a suspender skirt. Her facial features are delicate, her long hair cascades down to her hips, and her skin is fair and flawless. This young girl is Feng Ran Ran, the school flower of Nanqing Martial Arts School, and also the daughter of Feng An Kong. The two grew up together from a young age and have a deep affection. Xiao Yifun's mood is somewhat complicated. His childhood playmate has now betrayed him for his own gain. When Feng Ran Ran swept over with unfriendly eyes, Xiao Yifun thought to himself that this woman must not be doing anything good to come and find him. Xiao Yifun asked coldly, What are you doing here? Feng Ran Ran chuckled softly and said, I came to see what you look like, a homeless dog. Xiao Yifun did not respond and walked directly out of the school gate. Feng Ran Ran quickly caught up and stopped him, saying, Don't you want to know who my current boyfriend is? Xiao Yifun said calmly, I don't want to. At this moment, a man strode forward and said, I am Ran Ran's new boyfriend, my name is Li Shuhong. Xiao Yifun said coldly, I know you, that useless person from class 2. You were promoted to the seventh level of martial arts by spending money on your father, and you were scared to wet your pants by a wild cat outside the base city. Li Shuhong's face was ugly. He and Xiao Yifun are both martial artists in the Seven Realms, but their combat skills differ greatly. Xiao Yifun had accompanied his father to escort goods in his early years, and he had more knowledge outside the base city, and he has been pampered since childhood. Once, when he went to experience outside the base city, he encountered a two-meter-long exotic wild cat. It was his first time seeing an exotic creature and he was scared unconscious. The accompanying guards took him home, still carrying a hint of coquettishness. Li Shuhong's father questioned the reason and the guard resigned in anger. 
This incident later spread in the Changfeng Martial Arts School and was discussed by several older generation martial artists after drinking. Feng Ranran Ran retorted, My Shuhong will be going to the elite area of the inner city in the future. He is not a reckless man like you, he only knows how to fight and kill outside the base city. Upon hearing these words, Li Shuhong's expression softened slightly. Xiao Yifun did not stop and continued to walk out of the school gate. Now he doesn't want to be distracted by these trivial matters, he just wants to find a way to survive. I bought breakfast outside of school, two buns, and a bottle of milk for a total of ten federal coins. Normal life requires five thousand federal coins per month, and considering his current situation, he needs to save wherever he can. However, even so, eating, drinking, and accommodation still cost three thousand federal dollars per month. Walking on the streets of Nanchang, Xiao Yifun pondered two ways to survive. One was to continue working as a master of escorting goods like before, another option is to become a soldier in a military district. Although he is not yet 18 years old, he still wants to give it a try. The federal parliament provides extremely generous treatment to soldiers, even third-class private soldiers can receive at least two million federal dollars after retirement. If soldiers die in battle during their service, they will also receive an additional one million federal pension. Normally, the minimum requirement for recruiting soldiers is the Warrior Nine realm. However, due to the recent increase in the threat of alien creatures, a large number of soldiers have gone to the border battlefield, so the recruitment conditions in the base city have been reduced to Warrior Seven realm. However, this is only an expansion of reserve recruitment, not normal recruitment, so the salary is only one third of that of active duty. Chapter Two, Recruitment. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yunzhou Base City is divided into five major districts. Nanching District is the old urban area where ordinary citizens live, while Beijing District is the new urban area, known as the Wealthy District, with luxury hotels and business and entertainment venues. Xiching District is an industrial and technological park where citizens work. Dongqing District is a military construction zone with facilities such as military training military academies, military supply stations, and military hospitals. The elite area in the middle is a place with clear mountains and clear waters, with a green plant coverage rate of over 60%. The lush forest covers both sides of the road, and fragrant flowers can be seen everywhere on the roadside. The people living here are enough to showcase their identity and social status. The satellite rail train is a transportation tool that connects the four major regions, covering about 200 kilometers from Nanching District to Dongqing District. However, the satellite rail train only takes about half an hour to reach the recruitment platform in Dongqing District. Xiao Yifun took out a hundred federal coins to purchase a satellite station ticket, and now there are only a few hundred federal coins left, feeling a bit cold in his heart. Arriving at the recruitment platform, a young lady in military uniform explained the recruitment process with a smile on her face. Firstly, there is the basic information for registering identity. Xiao Yifun filled in the age of 18, which is one year older than the actual age. Due to the tense border front and relatively relaxed conscription conditions in the rear, there were not too many strict inspections. The second step is to measure height and weight. Xiao Yifun stood on the measuring instrument, and the results showed that his height of 182 met the standard and his weight of 75 kilograms met the standard. A small pinhole popped out of the instrument, and Xiao Yifun gently tapped it with his fingertips. The instrument then displayed normal blood routine and no infection status. The final step is to test physical fitness and combat skills. Xiao Yifun arrived at the last virtual warehouse and was met by a bionic mecha warrior. Its biomimetic skin can simulate human body surface temperature, and its intelligent chips inside can highly simulate human combat skills. Xiao Yifun stood in the center of the virtual warehouse, with a seemingly casual posture, but highly focused and prepared to face various attack methods. A cold mechanical voice sounded. Please defeat the simulation robot with the initial difficulty level of Warrior 7 Realm. 
As the progress bar of the program loading module on top of the simulation robot reached its end, a hint of coldness flashed in the robot's eyes, revealing its extremely ferocious human face. This simulation robot is definitely a simulation of a seasoned veteran. However, Xiao Yifun was not afraid, and he was more excited about such opponents. Being able to practice against such opponents can enrich his practical experience, and he also wants to know how much his martial arts seven realms differ from those of experienced veterans. The next moment, a fist with an endless strong wind hit him. In the empty virtual warehouse, two figures suddenly collided with each other. After several rounds of fighting, Xiao Yifun found the weakness of the simulation robot. For a warrior, combat awareness is far more important than combat skills. For a robot that only knows how to run programs without thinking, it is like the human.machine mode of a game. At the moment the simulation robot takes action, Xiao Yifun can predict its attack mode, make corresponding blocking positions, and then counterattack. In less than 20 rounds, this simulation robot was shattered. The cold mechanical sound echoed again. Please choose to settle the score or continue the challenge. Continue to challenge. Once again, a simulation robot emerges from the virtual warehouse. Although the combat skills have not changed, the speed and strength of the simulation robot are twice that of the previous one, equivalent to the strength of a warrior in the Eight Realms. The two figures clashed again, and this time Xiao Yifun did not choose to confront each other as hard as before. Instead, he chose a fox-like attack method, which was cunning and flexible, and various deceptive attacks made it difficult for the simulation robot to resist. After 30 rounds of fighting, the simulation robot was once again shattered. The cold mechanical sound echoed again, and Xiao Yifun chose to continue the challenge without hesitation. This simulation robot is clearly more powerful than the two robots just now. It has a fierce and fierce aura like a bad wolf, and a cunning gaze like a fox. Xiao Yifun clearly felt that the strength of robots was not only in terms of speed and strength, but also in terms of combat awareness, or rather it was imitating human combat. This battle is even more difficult than the previous two, as the strength of the simulation robot has reached the ninth realm of warriors. Faced with such powerful strength, Xiao Yifun could only keep dodging and searching for opportunities for surprise attacks. Just like facing the boss in the game, he used the strategy of grinding the health bar. After about a hundred rounds, Xiao Yifun finally succeeded in defeating this simulation robot. The prompt sounds, congratulations on receiving the evaluation of a first dot class private. You have two choices. One is to choose the employment mode and take on tasks in the task hall, the other is to become a reserve soldier. I'll choose the first one. He just wants to make a living now. Once the second option is selected and a reserve contract is signed, there is basically no freedom and no breach of contract. Otherwise, they will face sky-high penalty fees and be expelled from the base city, and they will never be able to step into the base city. Chapter 3 Trapping Plan You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Arriving at the task hall, Xiao Yifun quickly scanned the task list, revealing various task information at a glance. However, with his current permissions, he can only unlock D.Level tasks. As an ordinary mercenary, he is not qualified to view higher dot level tasks. D.Level task. Clean up 20 ghost-eyed spiders and submit their ghost eyes as proof. Task reward. 20,000 federal coins. D.Level mission. Eliminate 20 white jade magic spiders. You need to hand over the white jade horn of the white jade magic spider as proof. Mission reward. 30,000 federal coins. D.Level task. Assist the military district team in escorting supplies, require good evaluation from the military district team, task reward. 50,000 federal coins. Xiao Yifun was filled with complaints and lamented the poor treatment of mercenaries. It seems that completing a task can guarantee six months of food and drink without worries, but that's all money exchanged with one's life and not as easy to earn. 
People come and go in the task hall, but young figures like Xiao Yifun are not commonly seen. After all, at this age, most peers are preparing to enter a war academy. People from the Warrior Seven realm can barely enter ordinary second-class war academies, while those from the Warrior Nine realm can enter first-class war academies. If it is at the martial arts level, you can try to get into the nine super martial arts schools. Being admitted to a martial arts university can help people reach higher levels of martial arts, and as long as they want to join the army, they can directly obtain the qualification of an active soldier. That treatment is much better than reserve service. In the hall, people were discussing today's task with various tongues. A young, handsome, and fair-skinned child like Xiao Yifun, it is widely believed that he was forced to participate in the mission after failing the college entrance examination in the martial arts school. After all, there have been children like this in previous years. Have you heard about it? Recently, there has been a flood of magic spiders, and they are everywhere outside the base city. I don't know what's going on. Perhaps the old mother spider is in heat and has given birth to so many children. It's really hard for us. Yeah, now the rewards for tasks are getting lower and the difficulty of tasks is also getting higher. Xiao Yifun only then realized that out of ten tasks, eight were actually related to the magic spider. However, he did not ponder deeply, and now he only wants to find a task that suits him. At this moment, a figure slowly walked towards the task hall. Those cold eyes carried a chill of isolation from the world. She was dressed in a white dress, spotless, with snowy white hair hanging down her waist. No one knows her background. Immediately after, an urgent task with a red border appeared in the task hall. Task level. None task requirement 1. Provide intelligence on the nine-eyed devil spider's nest and reward 50,000 federal coins. Task requirement 2. Provide the trace of the nine-eyed devil spider and reward 50,000 federal coins. Task requirement 3. Provide a method to hunt the nine-eyed devil spider and reward it with 500,000 federal coins. Task requirement 4. Participate in the nine-eyed devil spider siege and reward 2,000 federal coins. Xiao Yifun was surprised when he saw this task box. He pondered for a moment about the nine-eyed magic spider, which was a spirit general level alien creature, equivalent to a human warrior. The nine-eyed devil spider has a mysterious and humanoid appearance, with seven out of nine eyes in a closed state year. Round. It is called the devil spider because it has the devilish figure of an adult woman and a delicate face. Devil spiders have a prominent characteristic of liking to eat male counterparts. Basically, it is eaten when it sees male counterparts, and it has a special habit of sucking dry essence before eating for adult boy humans. Xiao Yifun felt scared when he thought about it. However, on second thought, he had seen a spirit general level alien creature before. As for participating in the encirclement, he only wanted to provide a plan now. He remembered the woman before. This task was released shortly after her appearance. The task hall is already overcrowded, so it's not realistic to queue up. Since the task was posted by her, let's go directly to her. He has already figured out a method of arrest. Use a handsome adult boy as a lure to lure this devil spider. Thinking about just providing a solution, there are 50,000 federal coins to obtain, without the need to take risks and fight against the devil spider, I feel happy in my heart. He quickly stood guard at the entrance of the hall. As soon as this woman comes out, he can intercept her immediately. He is also prepared with a fluent speech. After all, the person who can release emergency tasks in the task hall is at least a pivotal figure with a high social status in the base city. The time of such a great person is extremely precious. Report the most effective content in the shortest possible time and gain the recognition of this important person. Xiao Yifun waited until 8 o'clock in the evening and thought that the big man was very busy. By 9 o'clock, if you haven't come out yet, you might have left through the back door. A figure in white walked towards him, and a golden light shone in Xiao Yifun's eyes. He thought to himself that he had finally waited for you. 
Xiao Yifun quickly welcomed her and walked up to the woman. Miss, I know some methods for catching devil spiders, said Xiao Yifun. For devil spiders, their biggest characteristic is to eat. They have an irresistible desire for male adult children. So the plan I want to offer is to use male children to lure devil spiders. The woman looked at him unkindly because this matter should be reported to the task hall for registration, rather than directly reporting to her. However, she thought to herself that the managers in the task hall were either slackers or connections, wasting her entire afternoon. What the young man in front of me said seems somewhat reasonable, but where should I go to find this boy? The woman looked at the young man in front of her, his young and handsome, tall and straight figure, revealing a meaningful smile. Since you propose the plan, it should also be up to you to prove its feasibility. Xiao Yifun thought to himself that he should be using himself as a bait. He touched his handsome face and thought to himself that it was indeed true. After all, the devil spider was just an alien creature at the level of a spirit general. Although he couldn't fight it, it didn't mean he couldn't escape. Then he said, since I have participated in the mission and am also part of the encirclement plan, the reward for this encirclement plan. The woman in white said, since the plan was proposed by you, then you are the leader of this plan, and naturally you will have a share of the reward. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, someone will come to pick you up. Chapter 4 Bronze or King You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the early morning of the next day, the sun slowly rose and warm sunshine filled the earth. Xiao Yifun lives in a hotel near the mission hall for easier access to the mission hall. Although the cost of 200 federal coins per day made him feel a bit distressed, he was filled with anticipation when he thought of receiving a reward of 2,000 million federal coins after completing the task. He doesn't care why a spirit general level alien would give such a high reward, he is more concerned about how to use the money reasonably. He arrived as promised, but only saw a beautiful woman dressed in professional military uniform. Her elegant and noble temperament made people feel inexplicably close. The beautiful woman introduced herself and said, Hello, I am Chief Bai's secretary. My name is Yi Ting, and you can also call me Secretarian. Xiao Yifun was somewhat puzzled and asked, Secretarian, may I ask if the white commander you mentioned is the woman in white yesterday? Secretary and nodded and explained, White Commander is the highest commander of our White Feather Legion, named by Yushi, and also the military and political commander of Yunzhou Bay City. I have received instructions from White Commander that this mission is very dangerous for you, so according to her instructions, I will take you to the supply station to do some preparation work. Upon hearing this news, Xiao Yifun was greatly shocked. He is well aware of the separation of powers in Yunzhou Base City. The three most powerful official positions in Yunzhou Base City are the Municipal Council President, Military and Political Commander, and Chief Financial Officer, who respectively control the three major lifelines of municipal affairs, military affairs, and finance. He nodded silently and followed Secretary and towards a floating car. This is his first time riding a floating car, as there is no such transportation as a high dot speed rail in the elite area, and floating cars have become a standard feature in the elite area. Only elites are eligible to purchase suspended cars. Secretary and took him to a private supply station. There are a wide variety of genetic medicines here, as well as various auxiliary cultivation medicines. She took out three types of potions. The regular version of the Magic Spider Toxin Antibody Potion, the Enhanced Version of the Magic Spider Toxin Antibody Potion, and the Comprehensive Version of the Universal Detoxification Potion. These medicines are worth a lot, averaging 300,000 federal dollars each. Professional medical staff injected the medication into Xiao Yifun's body. He felt a blazing force swimming through his body, and half an hour later, this force spread throughout his body. Xiao Yifun suddenly felt refreshed and refreshed, as if his strength had improved again. At this moment, the woman in white also walked into the supply station. Her eyes were cold, and she exuded a cold air that repelled people thousands of miles away. Faced with this military and political commander, 
Xiao Yifun immediately stood up, not daring to show any disrespect. Bai Yushi wrapped a crystal ball in spiritual energy and pushed it toward Xiao Yifun. He spoke calmly, this is the shield void spirit pearl developed by Dawn Technology Company, which can withstand a full blow from the alien throne. Xiao Yifun quickly took the crystal ball and before he could react, he was lifted by an invisible force in the back of his neck and walked straight out of this private supply station. The strength levels of humans are divided into warrior, warrior, general, marquee, starry sky throne, and star domain war god. Even the marquee of Wu needed to fly with the help of mechanical wings, and this white officer was able to fly out of thin air, at least due to the strength of the throne. Xiao Yifun always felt something was wrong, so he asked in a low voice, Officer Bai, aren't we going to fight against the nine-eyed devil spider at the spirit general level? Is it necessary to have such a big battle? Bai Yushi spoke calmly and said, Indeed, a few months ago, this devil spider was only the initial strength of a spirit general. It is said that it was taken by a certain biological group to conduct biological research, and its strength has rapidly improved since then. Its current strength has evolved to the level of a half-step alien king. This time, a death order has been issued from above to eradicate this devil spider at all costs. Xiao Yifun felt uneasy in his heart and muttered softly, What, the half-alien king? Aren't we going to fight against the spirit general level alien? Facing the half-alien king, blowing a breath can take my little life. I haven't made a girlfriend yet, how can I lose my life here? However, he thought again, no wonder the reward has been adjusted to 2,000 million federal coins, and I'm really trading my life for money. Xiao Yifun's expression was extremely ugly now. What he thought to himself was, this is not the Bronze Bureau, this is the King Bureau. I need to get off the car. When I was studying in a martial arts school, didn't the devil spider taught in textbooks have the highest level of strength as a spirit general? According to the different levels, there are war servant level, spirit general level, commander level, different king level, and different king level. This is a whole difference of two great realms. Bai Yushi saw Xiao Yifun's concern and calmly spoke up, it's okay. Didn't we prepare a shield void spirit pearl for you? With this spirit pearl, the alien species under the king won't cause any harm to you. Xiao Yifun's mood slightly eased, so he asked, why is this devil spider so powerful? Aren't ordinary devil spiders only at the level of spirit generals? Bai Yushi replied, I'm not sure about the specific situation either. Maybe someone in our Yunzhou base city is conducting gene fusion experiments. Xiao Yifun's face showed surprise. It should be noted that a warrior can only receive injections of one genetic potion. Injecting multiple genetic drugs into a person at the same time, although the person can gain strong dual gene fusion power in a short period of time, under the continuous collision of the two genes, the body will slowly dismember and eventually die due to gene collapse. So, gene fusion experiments are prohibited. Xiao Yifun was carried out of the base city like a chicken. Outside the base city, the venom corrodes the land, and the spider swarm is full of ferocious creatures. Spider eggs vary in size and spread throughout the entire land. The purple-black venom corrodes every tree. There is not a single weed on this piece of land, making it particularly desolate. Immediately after, Xiao Yifun was thrown onto a bare tree trunk. Bai Yushi spread out her wings, emitting white mist to cover her figure. Xiao Yifun looked around and found that countless exotic magic spiders were already surrounded. Their ferocious faces projected towards him as if they were about to devour him alive. Chapter 5 Attracting Spider Girl You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Countless spiders rushed toward Xiao Yifun, and the shield void spirit pearl emitted a light blue light, forming a protective barrier. Xiao Yifun sat quietly inside, not worried. The war servant level spider continuously attacks the shield with its spider legs, but Xiao Yifun knows that only the king level alien can break this shield. He made an international friendly gesture, encouraging the little spiders to continue working hard. 
This seems to have given the little spiders motivation, as more spiders began to climb onto the shields. Xiao Yifun continued to encourage them with friendly gestures. Quickly, the shield was covered with densely packed little spiders, blocking the sunlight and appearing very permeable. An hour later, the little spiders seemed to receive orders and retreated one after another. At this moment, a petite and charming figure slowly approached. Purple hair hangs down like a slender willow at the waist, and the graceful body is covered by crystal clear spider silk in key areas. Behind the woman grew spider legs that were as sharp as blades, emitting a unique beauty. The little spider girl's eerie and beautiful pupils scan Xiao Yifun, gently caressing her body with both hands, displaying a charming charm. In this hunting game, the identities of the hunter and prey can be exchanged at any time. Has Bai Yushi not taken action yet? Xiao Yifun thought to himself, looking at this flirtatious little spider girl, she doesn't seem to be a half-step king-level alien creature, she should be some kind of clone. After all, she is a devil spider that has evolved to the level of a half-step king, a cunning rabbit, and three caves. In that case, Xiao Yifun lifted the hem of his clothes, showcased his eight-pack abs, and deliberately showed off his muscles. Although his muscles are not well dot developed, they should be enough to provoke this little spider girl. The little spider girl couldn't help but drip saliva when she saw Xiao Yifun's eight-pack abdominal muscles. Xiao Yifun was taken aback and thought to himself, No brother, I'm provoking you, not tempting you. The little spider licked her lips and whispered, Brother, can you come over for a while? I want to play a fun game with you. Xiao Yifun said coldly, What games do you know how to play? Starry Glory What rank are you in? Can you help me score? The little spider girl hesitated for a moment and shyly spoke up, what interstellar glory is it? Is it fun? I'll play games with you, can you be my boyfriend? I want to play a more fun game with you. Xiao Yifun has also become interested. It's quite boring now, and chatting with someone is also good. He asked, what game is more fun than star glory? The fair game competition of 5v5 tests teamwork, do you understand? Stunned, the spider girl said shyly, does my brother like to play multiplayer games? Or I'll call my sisters and we'll cooperate with you and play with you, okay? Xiao Yifun was surprised. Does this guy have sisters? He thought excitedly that where there are sisters, there are mothers. He was pondering how to track down her mother's whereabouts, so the task was completed. Twenty million, what an attractive number. Bai Yushi quietly hid in the clouds without any movement. Any wind or grass disturbance may startle the enemy. She was just trying her luck to see if she could bring out the real devil spider. This young man picked up on the roadside seems unreliable, but talking about unreliable topics is actually very cunning. Xiao Yifun said, Little sister, you're still too young. There are many bad people outside. Can you come and see your brother when you grow up? The little spider girl urgently asked, Why wait until I grow up? Does my brother not like me now, or does he like me who is mature? No, brother is afraid that you will be bullied outside. You are still too weak, I will tell you secretly that there are often human powerhouses here. When you become stronger, you can come find brother to play with. Xiao Yifun reminded softly. Xiao Yifun deliberately revealed a flaw. The little spider girl looked at Xiao Yifun in surprise and said, What kind of human powerhouse? Are they very powerful? Xiao Yifun said cautiously, The powerful Marquis of Man can fly to heaven and flee to the earth, and even with a single slap, the mountain can be flattened. The little spider woman breathed a sigh of relief and said coldly, Brother, the powerful Marquis of Wu cannot protect you. Then she made some kind of summoning sound. Then, a charming and mature figure walked out, with extremely twisted facial features and a proud and upright figure, creating an extremely disharmonious scene. The powerful spiritual aura permeated the surroundings. Is this the power of a half-step king-level alien? Through the protective shield, Xiao Yifun felt heart-wrenching. 
Little Spider Girl did indeed notice someone around him. After all, there is no free lunch in the world. Giving a food with a shield is not right from any perspective. She thought she had already tricked him out, but she didn't expect that Xiao had already been on guard. It's really a man's mouth, a deceitful ghost. A feather blade pierced through the air, and the spiritual power of the demon spider girl surged, forming a huge shield, and hundreds of feet of spider phantom appeared. This is actually a true king-level alien, its spiritual power transformed into a huge phantom, symbolizing the soul of the king. Bayushi also summoned the huge wings behind him, shooting countless feather blades. Although the Nine-Eyed Devil Spider is a king-level alien, its recent advancement is not a big problem for the peak throne of Bayushi. The feather blade hit the magic spider shield and soon cracks appeared. The magic spider spat out its silk for a second block, barely blocking the attack. Bayushi's figure flashed, and a long sword appeared in his hand, emitting a black and white interwoven light. The blade of light and shadow is an extremely sharp killing technique. In just a few rounds, it quickly cuts off the demon spider woman's waist. Before her death, the magic spider girl looked at Xiao Yifun unwillingly and cursed him for being deceitful. Then the nine eyes slowly opened and delivered the final dense blow. Bai Yushi didn't expect the magic spider girl to have such a comeback, but she was not afraid. This blow would only cause her some skin injuries at most. But Xiao Yifun is different. His shield void spirit ball can withstand attacks from king level monsters at most. Nine dark purple rays intertwined, and powerful spiritual power collided on the shield. A light and shadow shield formed around by Yushi, intercepting Xiao Yifun at the fastest speed and sharing some damage. But at the moment of the attack, a small hole appeared in Xiao Yifun's shield, and a pale purple poisonous gas flowed in, making Xiao Yifun feel extremely uncomfortable. The breath of a king-level alien can really be fatal. These 20 million yuan are really hard to earn. Chapter 6 Divine Heritage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xiao Yifun's body was constantly twitching, and even after three doses of antitoxin, the king-level exotic toxin was still incredibly fierce. It swims to every corner of his body, and he may be corroded into a puddle of mist or become a new infected person. Countless thoughts flashed through his mind, but he did not feel unwilling in his heart. In this era, humans have been fighting against different species for hundreds of years, and countless humans die every day at the mouth of different species. The only thing he felt unwilling to do was not being able to become a true soldier and engage in face-to-dot -face, face combat with aliens. However, even so, being able to bury the body on this old soil is still an honor. Xiao Yifun slowly closed his eyes and bid his final farewell to the world. Then, Bai Yushi slowly walked over. She doesn't have much emotional fluctuation about Xiao Yifun's life and death. Once, she went to the border battlefield and witnessed the deaths of countless soldiers with her own eyes. Her companions collapsed one by one on the battlefield and their remains were buried under the old soil. She has also served as an instructor at a border training camp and met many new students. However, they often separate Yin and Yang in an instant. For Bai Yushi, the death of her companions has become commonplace. Therefore, she has been suppressing her emotions. However, she has a principle. For her companions, as long as there is a chance for first-dot-line treatment, even if it is slim, she will not give up. Bai Yushi slowly looked at Xiao Yifun and lightly pointed. Her white wings behind her emitted a dazzling healing light, slowly protecting Xiao Yifun's heart. The ability of king-level alien infection is extremely powerful for a warrior. Although she knows the chances are very slim, she will still do her best to try to cure them. If Xiao Yifun really becomes an infected person, she will not hesitate to kill him. Toxins flowed through Xiao Yifun's body, not directly invading his heart and brain, but forming a strange cycle around his body. This surprised Bai Yushi a bit. However, she still believes that Xiao Yifun's chances of survival are very slim. 
Perhaps, Xiao Yifan has become an infected person. Despite this, she still hasn't stopped healing him. She must see Xiao Yifan show her the infected person's claws and teeth with her own eyes before she can draw her sword. Xiao Yifan also fell into deep sleep. In his dream, he saw a long and winding road, with a ferocious phantom below it. On both sides of the road are pictures hanging, as if they were lanterns before death, recording Xiao Yifan's childhood. He started standing at the age of 10, learned a basic skill at 13, and entered a martial arts school at 15. However, at the age of 17, Xiao Yifan thought his life had come to an end and the road had come to an end. But he found that the journey was not over, but continued to record another part of his life. Memories became blurred, and he saw a figure similar to himself. The person exuded a strong aura of slaughter, holding an ancient abyssal sword with nine strange inscriptions engraved on its body. His swordsmanship was eerie and varied, he fought countless enemies throughout his life, and ultimately collapsed in front of an ancient temple. The memory clip ends here. Xiao Yifan had a long and winding dream. When he woke up, he found that he couldn't remember anything. He tried to recall his experience, but could not remember anything. At the same time, he also checked his physical condition. I found myself locked in a room with my hands and feet handcuffed with iron chains, making my movements extremely inconvenient. He suddenly thought that he might have been infected with the toxin of the devil spider. He examined his injuries but did not find any wounds. Probably because those three doses of antidote worked. He observed around the room and found that it was an antique study. There is a simple pool next to the desk, in which several red koi swim. On the desk are some landscape paintings and calligraphy, showcasing the scenery of traditional Chinese houses. Bayushi slowly pushed the door in, wearing a white dress with long hair hanging down to her waist. She said to Xiao Yifan indifferently, How do you feel when you wake up? Xiao Yifan replied, It's much better. Where is this? Why are you locking me up? Bai Yushi didn't explain much, just said lightly, Go wash up and have dinner in the living room. Then he left the study. Xiao Yifan was about to ask why he was tied up, as it was not very convenient for him to wash up, but he quickly closed his mouth. He speculated that it might be because the spider girl's toxin was too strong, and they were worried about becoming infected. Xiao Yifan finished washing up and cautiously walked out of the room. This is his first time coming to such a mansion, so he is very cautious in his actions. Quickly, he arrived at the living room. He saw classical redwood furniture, and the spacious and atmospheric space was filled with a majestic atmosphere. There are four dishes and a soup bowl on the table, but the soup bowl has not been opened yet. Bai Yushi sat in the center of the room, while Xiao Yifan sat at the door. Bai Yushi nibbled on the food and casually said, Is there any problem? Xiao Yifan asked cautiously, Can my chains be unlocked? I'll give you the answer later. Don't you check your own situation first. Xiao Yifan sensed his body and found that he had already activated nine spiritual power nodes, which means he had reached the nine realms of martial arts. He also discovered that he had two additional skills. The first one is spider silk control, which can create a small spider silk in his hand by guiding spiritual power. Another is true vision, which is a state skill that can provide a 360 degree, dead angle free field of view when activated. It can clearly capture any small object within a radius of 300 meters, such as flies, ants, and mosquitoes. He is confused because he did not take genetic potions, but why did he acquire these skills? Xiao Yifan asked in confusion, why do I have two skills related to spiders? Bai Yushi calmly replied, there is a special race in this world who possess very powerful and special talents, but they are children abandoned by the gods and called divine relics. Your abilities may be related to divine relics. Xiao Yifan continued to ask, since they have powerful talents, why are they abandoned by the gods? Bai Yushi slowly stood up and opened the soup bowl on the table. A crimson pungent odor emanated. The Libra of fate is fair. 
with powerful talents, there will also be fatal weaknesses. Chapter 7 Chinke Training Camp You are listening at NovelFull.audio The moment the soup bowl was opened, a shocking scene was revealed. The crimson and pungent smell of blood rushed in, and there were still some human limbs remaining in the bowl. Xiao Yifun tried hard to suppress the discomfort in his stomach. Bai Yushi watched this scene quietly, knowing that the fatal weakness of Shini was her thirst for human blood. She wanted to see if the boy could restrain his instincts and decide his attitude towards him. One minute later, Xiao Yifun vomited. Bai Yushi's eyes were momentarily stunned, which was not quite what she had imagined. Xiao Yifun apologized and said, I'm sorry for dirtying your living room. Bai Yushi still hadn't regained her senses. After a long time, she slowly spoke up, Have you felt any discomfort? Then, Xiao Yifun took another sip and said weakly, Officer Bai, I may not be very interested in food that you are not interested in. Bai Yushi felt a bit embarrassed, it seemed that if she didn't explain clearly, the young man would mistakenly think she liked to eat this kind of food. She explained calmly, the fatal weakness of divine heritage is the ultimate thirst for blood, just like exotic creatures, they are instinctive desires. Therefore, the federal government's attitude towards divine heritage is to eliminate it by all means possible. Xiao Yifun nervously explained, I am not a divine relic, I am just an ordinary human. I have no preference for blood. Later, he wanted to vomit again, but because he didn't eat much food today, he just retched a few times and couldn't vomit anything. Bai Yushi couldn't bear to watch anymore and ordered the waiter to remove the soup bowl. He had the venue cleaned and the chains on Xiao Yifun's body untied. At this moment, Xiao Yifun had no appetite and still felt discomfort in his stomach. Bai Yushi continued, It doesn't matter whether you are a divine legacy, what matters is the attitude of the federal government towards you, which is determined jointly by various aristocratic families. Even if the divine legacy can control themselves to live a normal life, the aristocratic families will spare no effort in hunting them and even conducting live experiments on them. Because powerful innate genes can only be monopolized by aristocratic families, they will not allow such genes to appear on ordinary citizens. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yifun became even more nervous. However, he thought to himself that if Chief Bai planned to hand him over to the federal government, he wouldn't say so much to him. Xiao Yifun pondered for a while. Officer Bai, I want to become a soldier and defend every inch of land in the base city. I hope you can give me a chance to die in battle, and after I die, I will have my body sent to the laboratory for research. Bai Yushi nodded and said, I can help you keep this secret and let you join the Qinke training camp. But you must become my subordinate. Xiao Yifun quickly nodded and respectfully said, Thank you, Chief Bai. Even if it's going up the Sword Mountain and down the Fire Sea in the future, I will not hesitate. As long as you let me go east, I will never go west. Bai Yushi nodded slightly, realizing that Xin Yi's identity was not that sensitive. The federal government only superficially imprisons them, and conducting live research is an illegal experiment conducted privately by biological institutions. Monopoly of the powerful genes of the divine legacy does not necessarily mean killing them, and the recruitment of divine legacy into intermarriage by aristocratic families is also a form of monopoly. Bai Yushi said this just to cut off this kid's retreat and let him know that he was his only choice. The method of combining kindness and power with a single stick is truly brilliant. Xiao Yifun whispered, Sir Bai, where did the raw material for that soup come from just now? Bai Yushi said coldly, I caught a death row criminal at will. She also felt speechless about it. Xiao Yifun secretly breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't want to follow a person who indiscriminately killed innocent people. He asked again, Officer Bai, what is our compensation? A bank card and a bill appeared in Bai Yushi's hand. The bill states, the shield void spirit pearl is worth 1000 W. Antibody agent X3 with a value of 100000. Life potion X3 with a value of 50,000.1 day in the CU intensive care unit, 
valued at 500,000 yuan there are also a series of expenses. Xiao Yifun looked at it and exclaimed, wow, the total is 1500 W. He checked the balance in his card, there is still 500 W left, and thought to himself that his living expenses have been settled. However, he always felt that something was wrong. Why did the Shield Void Spirit Pearl have to pay for it on his own? This commander is really stingy. After dinner, Secretarian, dressed in military uniform, walked over and said, Mr. Xiao, I am the reserve instructor of Qinke Training Camp. Nice to meet you. You are my first student. Xiao Yifun was taken aback and said, Why is it a reserve instructor? And Yiting explained in a soft voice, the Qin Kei training camp recruits college graduates from first-class martial arts schools, who have at least six levels of martial arts skills. So you should be considered an unqualified student. And I, on the other hand, am just a newcomer to the Wuho realm, barely a trainer. Xiao Yifun was a bit puzzled and said, Why do you want me to participate in this training camp? After pondering for a moment, and Yiting smiled and said, maybe you think you're a good seedling, or maybe you used it for me to practice. Then, she showed a shallow smile. Subsequently, the two of them arrived in front of the suspended car. Xiao Yifun got in the car and the vehicle was driving on the road. The traffic on the highway is busy, with lush greenery on both sides. Xiao Yifun speculates that this should be the elite district of Yunzhou Base City. He has been to three other major urban areas besides Beijing District. The Qinke training camp is located in a valley surrounded by mountains on three sides, with a magnificent city wall and gate in front of it. There are armed soldiers standing guard on the city wall, wearing blue training uniforms and embroidered with a blue sparrow on their armbands, which is the symbol of the Qinke training camp. After the floating car drove in, it bypassed the central training ground and arrived at a very hidden training martial arts academy. Chapter 8 Martial Arts School Teaching You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The furniture layout inside the martial arts school is exquisite, with complex patterns carved on the walls, creating a mysterious and solemn atmosphere. There is a practice room inside the martial arts school, and there is also a rest tea hall next to it. The second floor is dedicated to storing martial arts and techniques. In this world, genetic potions endow people with various abilities, but martial arts are still an important means of attack. And Yiting walked straight into the martial arts school, took a teapot from the lounge, and poured a cup of tea for Xiao Yifun. The aroma of tea is overflowing, making people feel relaxed and happy. And Yiting took a sip of tea and asked, as a soldier, you should know what your duty is. Xiao Yifun replied, It is the duty of a soldier to obey orders and obey orders in all actions. This is the basic quality of a soldier. And Yiting nodded in agreement and added, You're only half right. You're the person personally named by Commander Bai, just obeying orders is not enough. After deep reflection, Xiao Yifun realized that absolute obedience represents loyalty, but loyalty alone is not enough. After all, the trainees in the training camp are all graduates from first-class martial arts schools, and their abilities are all from the six realms of martial arts, which he does not possess. He began to contemplate his value to the white officer. Value, suddenly he seemed to understand something, so he asked, Secretarian, has Chief Bai assigned me a special task? And Yiting smiled and nodded, you're very smart. Commander Bai asked me to train you and assigned you a high-dot-risk task. This task is related to the Gene Fusion Laboratory in Yunzhou Base City. Of course, you can also choose to give up. Xiao Yifun was puzzled and said, since this task is so important, it may not be appropriate for me to complete it alone. After all, my current strength is not enough. And Yiting said seriously to Xiao Yifun, are you willing to accept this task? This made Xiao Yifun feel a lot of pressure. Xiao Yifun calmly replied, I am willing to accept this task, but Chief Bai cannot let me do anything beyond my ability. Can you give me something that can improve my strength? 
And Yiting was quite satisfied with his answer and praised Xiao Yifun's wisdom and courage in her heart. She then said, Chief Bai has prepared the martial arts for you. She slowly got up, walked up to the second floor, and then took out two martial arts books and handed them to Xiao Yifun. Xiao Yifun took the technique and quickly flipped through it. The first martial arts technique is called Dragon and Tiger Fighting Technique, which is a D.Level technique and a common martial arts skill in the military. It is an extremely powerful Qigong that cultivates by condensing the Qi of dragons and tigers, and can condense a type of Qi called Dragon and Tiger Breath. When practicing to perfection, you can activate nine Qi channels and increase your strength several times. The second skill rule is extraordinary, it is an S.Level spiritual cultivation secret method called Empty in Dark View Thoughts. By visualizing the spiritual world in the secret technique and constructing one's own spiritual world according to specific requirements, one can greatly enhance their spiritual power. And Yiting calmly said, this cultivation technique is a reward given to you by Commander Bai. Whether you accept the task or not, I will give this cultivation technique to you. As for the second cultivation technique, it is a reward for completing the task. Commander Bai asked me to advance it to you because the risk of this mission is very high. Xiao Yifun was surprised. A S. Level spiritual secret book that can allow people to cultivate to the realm of the starry sky throne. This kind of cultivation is extremely precious in the entire Yunzhou Bay city, as there are very few people who have reached the Starry Sky King. I didn't expect Commander Bai to advance the expenses to himself. And Yiting continued, this mission is confidential. You should have noticed that besides me, you haven't seen anyone else at Qinke training camp. Your resume is only related to the first class private you applied for, which is still in employment status. So your past experience is very clean. That's also why Chief Bai chose you. Xiao Yifun nodded as he had guessed the task. Commander Bai is going to send me as an undercover agent, right? And Yiting nodded and said, you can be considered an undercover agent. You should practice these two techniques well first. I will send you the cultivation resources later. It's really dangerous to be an undercover agent with your current strength. If you have any questions about the techniques, you can ask me now. Xiao Yifun expressed agreement and inquired about the cultivation method of the idea of Kong Ming Temple. Since he wants to become an undercover agent, he needs to cultivate stronger martial arts, and the dragon and tiger fighting technique can be understood by himself. And Yiting was slightly surprised and thought to herself that this boy had a great ambition, but she did not refute it. She also wants to see this kid quickly improve his strength, even though S.Level spiritual secrets are not easy to cultivate. Due to her limited understanding of the spiritual secrets cherished by Commander Bai, she can only explain them through some of the spiritual secrets she knows. As for whether one can succeed in learning, it still depends on the boy's intelligence. And Yiting demonstrated her spiritual cultivation techniques and patiently explained them. For warriors, the spiritual power they control is like nodes, which we call spiritual nodes. After reaching the martial arts realm, these nodes can be connected into a line, which is the spiritual vein. It is like the spiritual meridian of the human body, opening up the blood vessels throughout the body. Once a spiritual vein is cultivated, one can use spiritual power to guide their own blood flow. At the level of a general, the spiritual veins can interweave into spiritual patterns, and at this point, specific things can be constructed or attack methods can be learned for spiritual secrets. After reaching the realm of Wuho, the spiritual pattern can be concretized into a tangible form of spiritual power. As for the spiritual secret cultivation above the throne, she is not clear about it. Xiao Yifun nodded vaguely, meaning that dots move into lines, lines move into surfaces, and surfaces move into bodies. Well, that's the feeling. It seems like there's a similar description in the textbook. Chapter 9 Introduction to Stars You are listening at NovelFull.Audio Xiao Yifun sat in a separate resting room and opened Thoughts on the Empty and Meditation. 
Endless darkness poured in, leading him into a world of stars. Above this starry sea stands an ancient and solemn city. Above the city wall, the soldiers were dressed in blue armor and stood firm. Countless stars slowly fall, each releasing powerful spiritual power. Xiao Yifun tried to connect with them with his spiritual power and bring the stars into his palm. One, two, three. Until the seven stars fell into his hands. His mental strength began to struggle, and he knew that the seven stars were his limit. At this moment, he can only try to arrange and combine these stars to prolong his control of them and prepare for the next introduction of stars. After a long time, Xiao Yifun withdrew from his cultivation state and took a deep breath to relieve his tense nerves. One practice made him feel mentally exhausted, and he can only practice again today. He pondered on the level of control over the seven stars. At this moment, An Yiting gently pushed the door and entered, seeing that Xiao Yifun had exited the cultivation state. She asked, Did you gain anything from this cultivation? How many spiritual nodes can you control now? Xiao Yifun replied, The first time I practiced, I controlled seven stars, which should be what you called the spiritual node. As he spoke, he slowly extended his palm, and the seven shining stars hung in his palm. An Yiting nodded lightly in agreement and said, Great, you can master the seven spiritual nodes the first time, which indicates that your intelligence is very suitable for practicing this skill. Once you open this door, the next practice is only a matter of time. Xiao Yifun continued to inquire, How many spiritual nodes do I need to master? How can these spiritual nodes be connected to form a spiritual network? And Yiting explained, It's not about how many spiritual nodes you need to master, but the role of each spiritual node. For example, if you want to control the flow of blood in your body, you need to understand the laws of your own blood flow, which involves 365 acupoints on your body. You need to introduce the spiritual nodes into the corresponding acupoints and connect them with spiritual power to form a spiritual network that controls the body's blood. For example, if you want to use spiritual power to control a flying knife, you need to understand the force points of the flying knife, then introduce corresponding spiritual nodes at each force point, and then connect them with spiritual power to form an invisible force to control the flying knife. Xiao Yifun was taken aback and exclaimed, The teaching quality of Wuho is indeed extraordinary, much better than the teachers I used to teach at the Nanqing campus. Later, Xiao Yifun said, Dragon and tiger fighting requires a large amount of blood to be mobilized in order to condense the breath of the dragon and tiger meridians. If I can open up 365 acupoints on my body and use spiritual nodes to mobilize the blood of my whole body, can this improve the efficiency of condensing the breath of the dragon and tiger? And Yiting exclaimed, Very well, you have made rapid progress. I have just brought the blood crystals needed for dragon and tiger fighting. You can first extract the blood gas from these blood crystals. Once your spiritual network is formed, you can then practice dragon and tiger fighting to prepare for condensing the breath of the dragon and tiger. Xiao Yifun nodded lightly. He was mentally exhausted now, and the idea of continuing to cultivate the void and meditation temple was not realistic. He happened to use this time to absorb some blood crystals and store these blood gases. Hematite is a natural product typically formed by the death of xenobiotic organisms, where blood flows into the earth and undergoes complex evolution over a long period of time. After the death of different types of alien organisms, the blood crystals formed in their death areas are different. The blood crystal given by an Yiting is a light purple color. Near the base city of Yunzhou, only one alien species can produce this blood crystal. The Purple Golden Lion Leopard The young Purple Golden Lion Panther possesses the power of a spirit general, while the adult Purple Golden Lion Panther is a leader-level alien. The pale purple blood crystal corresponds to the young lion of the spirit general level, while the purple golden blood crystal corresponds to the adult Purple Golden Lion Leopard. This kind of cultivation resource is worth at least seven-digit federal coins. Commander Bai generously gave, and Xiao Yifun did not hesitate to start practicing immediately. 
A stream of blood gas flowed out of the blood crystal and flowed through his entire body through his palm. His physique is gradually strengthening, and the spiritual nodes inside his body are also cheering. One of the spiritual nodes is particularly active, as if about to break free from the cocoon. Xiao Yifan understood that in a few days, this spiritual power node would turn into a spiritual cyclone, indicating that he would become a martial artist. This will enable him to control more abundant spiritual power and enter the next stage of spiritual cultivation. A few hours later, Xiao Yifan was sweating profusely. Absorbing light purple blood crystals is still difficult for him. At this point, his mental strength has regained some. He once again began to cultivate the idea of Kongming Temple. This time, the speed of the stars descending is much faster than last time. He successfully controlled nine stars and arranged them in advance. When he is promoted to a martial artist, he can connect them through spiritual power. A few days have passed, and Xiao Yifan has been continuously practicing. From initially being able to control only seven stars, he has now been able to control fifty stars. His strength has also reached the level of a martial artist. This kind of strength was among the top in the entire grade at the former Nanshan campus. Chapter 10 Practical Training You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next morning, An Yiting was wearing a black tight-fitting sportswear, carrying a sports backpack. Her slender legs were faintly visible under the tight clothing, and her curvy figure was perfectly displayed. Unlike before, she appeared particularly charming and charming. The task this time is to have you report to the Beijing campus, and Yiting took out several books from her backpack. Xiao Yifan picked up a book and read it, which included Self-Cultivation of Undercover, Introduction to Performance Skills to Abandoning, Criminal Psychology, and Application and Mastery of Anti-Investigation. He was a bit confused and said, Isn't the Beijing campus a wealthy area? Is the wealthy area so chaotic? And Yiting explained, although the North Campus is wealthier than the South Campus, only 10% of the people are truly wealthy. The remaining 90% are mostly the confidants or thugs of various wealthy individuals. The North Campus has four major campuses, each funded by the four major groups. The North Campus you will be going to is a private school under the Dian Group. Xiao Yifan continued to ask, what is the connection between going to the Beijing campus and conducting gene fusion experiments? Is there a special laboratory in this school? And Yiting replied, the local family businesses in Beijing monopolize educational resources. The quota for admission to war academies is basically determined by them. Those who fail to be admitted may become private armed forces of the enterprise. We suspect that the devil spider gene mutation is related to the Dean group. So when I went to study at the Beijing campus, I actually became an undercover agent for the corresponding enterprise. Xiao Yifan was surprised, not expecting that there was still such a way in the Beijing campus. I can understand it that way, and Yiting nodded in affirmation. Xiao Yifan looked dejected and sighed as he looked at these books, it's impossible to read. It's impossible to read in this lifetime. Learning is boring, and even if I jump off here, I won't read any of your books. And Yiting sensed his emotions and said, if you don't want to see it, you can skip it. Let's get straight to the point. Xiao Yifan was overjoyed upon hearing this and said, can you skip reading? Sister An, you told me earlier. What's the point? Of course it's practical training, she said as if preparing to take action. Xiao Yifan was shocked and quickly shouted, Sister An, I was wrong. I am a good student and I love learning very much. He knew that practicing with a wuho would be very cruel. Do you want to read now? Think about it. Just because you want to read doesn't mean that practical training will stop. She lightly grabbed with one hand, and an invisible force gathered in her palm, transforming into a completely pitch black ball, soft and bouncing, about the size of a baseball. And Yiting lightly touched the small ball, and the pitch black ball smashed towards Xiao Yifan at an incredible speed. 
Xiao Yifun quickly opened his real field of vision and saw the trajectory of the ball's movement clearly, narrowly avoiding it. Subsequently, the three small balls condensed out of thin air, this time without even using gestures, which is the characteristic of spiritual power transforming into tangible strength. In Xiao Yifun's real field of vision, he could observe the movement trajectory of the ball 360 degrees without dead angles, but even so, he still struggled to dodge a few balls. And Yiting said coldly, this is training your evasion ability. In the campus of Beicheng, the enemies you encounter will not give you one dot on point one opportunities. You need to learn how to break through their encirclement under the siege of multiple people, and then find opportunities to counterattack. Xiao Yifun was surprised and didn't expect to dodge a small ball with such knowledge. He seized the opportunity and, as the ball passed by him, suddenly punched him from the side, accompanied by the roar of dragons and tigers. This was the dragon and tiger fighting technique he had practiced. The small ball was fiercely shattered by this blow, transforming into an invisible force. And Yiting nodded slightly and said, Not bad, you know how to avoid its sharpness. Then three small balls condensed out of nowhere. Xiao Yifun was also stunned for a moment, and then faced the attack of the small ball. He activated his second ability, using the traction of spider silk to move quickly. And Yiting showed a hint of surprise, clearly unaware of his ability. She quickly increased the number of balls to ten. At the moment when Xiao Yifun was controlling the spider silk to land, a small ball suddenly attacked him. Quickly, he found himself in a floating state and couldn't find a way to avoid the ball's attack. He could only adjust his body and let the ball's attack avoid the key points of his body. At the moment the ball hit his body, a severe pain hit him, and there was a large bruise on his shoulder, but he did not suffer any serious injury. He is well aware that practical combat can deepen his understanding of abilities. Quickly, he changed his defensive style. He began to arrange spider webs one by one, using these highly resilient webs to slow down the speed of the ball. He used the spider webs as shelters, weaving back and forth through these webs. As time passed, dense spider webs covered the surroundings, forming silk walls. Although the toughness of a single spider silk is not enough to block a small ball's attack, ten or a hundred can. Xiao Yifun stood in the middle of the silk wall with satisfaction and showed a friendly gesture to An Yiting. However, in the next moment, An Yiting's hand weathered into a sharp blade, instantly cutting the spider web that Xiao Yifun had worked hard to weave into two halves, and the cold blade rested on his neck. Sister An, let's just joke about it, huh, Xiao Yifun said weakly. An Yiting commented with a smile, your ability is not bad. Ordinary martial arts attacks may not be able to swallow your spider web, but it takes too long. You should know that in a life and death battle, the enemy will not give you such a long time to lay the spider web. After saying that, she slowly dispersed the blade in her hand. Xiao Yifun awkwardly said, that's true. I'll go back tonight and prepare the necessary spider webs in advance for future battles. By the way, I'll give you a piece of clothing which is warm in winter and cool in summer. It's the only one in the entire base city. And Yiting looked at him with a smile on her face and said, that's what you said. Then I'll look forward to it. Then she walked out of the martial arts school. At night, Xiao Yifun began to work hard to weave spider silk into a special structure, fix it with spiritual secrets, and inject a spiritual power. A spider web bomb was completed like this. Well, let's try the power. He used his psychic control to smash the spider web bomb forward. With a loud bang, dozens of meters around were covered with a layer of tough and delicate spider webs. Later, he received another blueprint, which was a design blueprint for a classical dress. A green sparrow stands perched on a willow tree, looking lifelike. Xiao Yifun felt a headache as he looked at the blueprint and said, Sisterin, I was wrong. I just kept saying hi for a moment. I really can't weave this thing. 